Like just about anything because why not on board and it's and also don't mind my voice I'm kind of like sick right now I don't even know how but I have a sore throat and stuff so if I sound different it's because of that so whew, so make sure you like comment and subscribe and let's get started and I'm gonna be talking about stuff that just that happened at my party summer and just other stuff like that so okay guys so first we're gonna talk i guess about summer first so summer just started um like two weeks ago yeah two weeks ago and summer's been cool what like it's been fun i don't know what i'm like what i want to do this summer because when i was in school i was like i want to do track this summer but I just want to like kind of relax. So, um, like the second week of summer, my birthday came and I had a birthday party. My birthday party was like two days. My birthday party was two days ago, and it was like so much fun. It was Mean Girls theme, and it was a pool party. I invited some of my friends. Um, at first, like when I was planning my party, I didn't really want like a party for real. But then I was like, actually, it would be cool if I had a pool party. So then me and my mom, like, started planning it. Um, we planned it. It was, like, kind of like a last-minute decision, like, like, three weeks before. I was like, maybe I should do a pool party. Because at first, I didn't know what I wanted to do for my birthday. Like, my mom asked me, she was like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? And I was like, I don't know what I want to do. I can't even tell you that. I just want to hang out with my friends. But, like, I don't know what I want to do for real. So we were like, let's just want to do a party. And I was like, I guess. So then I started texting all my friends. I was like, should I have a pool? I was like, if I have a pool party, you're gonna come. And they're like, yeah. So then I like started planning the pool party. And then along while we were planning, we started um, picking out themes. I didn't even know what theme I really wanted to do until I was looking and I was like, Maybe I should do Mean Girls theme because I love pink and I love Mean Girls, so that's what we did. And the party came out really, really nice. I was very happy with the results. I was very excited for the day to come. I was also kind of scared because it said it was going to rain, but it didn't rain. It rained the next day, which was yesterday. And it's also... said it was but um yeah so i also had a a coney um snow cone truck that came that also was very very last minute we were calling i was like i kind of want one and we were calling for like like three days like literally three days before my party and i thought i wasn't gonna get one because everyone was like oh, it's kind of last minute and we're like really booked and i was like oh my gosh so yeah and then um but then we found one i don't know my mom did her magic i love my mom she's always like helping me plan stuff out and she like when i tell her something she gives me a vision and then she makes it happen so that's why i just i love planning stuff with my mom and overall this is probably one of my favorite parties i ever had so yeah then i got some cute gifts from my friends i got one of my friends she got me this nerd gun clusters i've been craving i've been telling everyone if you want to give me something for everything just give me that and she got me a big bag and i was so happy and she also got me a victorious I'm um, not Victoria's Secret. She also got me a pink gift card for $40. My voice. 
and I didn't spend it yet but I am real soon and bro I got those nerds gummy clusters at the party and I opened them and I ate some and then I put it back in like the box they were in tell me why I went inside and I see my friend my my friend's brother and DJ eating all of it and they didn't leave me with none and I was so sad because I was like I've been craving this for like days and my friend got it for me and you ate it <coughs> but anyways and then my two other friends they made um bracelets for me they were like they're super cute i got another bracelet um my friend she went to bahamas and she got me a bracelet i love the bahamas that's kind of where i'm gonna go this summer um either like july because this summer is kind of short it's like june july and then as soon as august hits we go back to school like we only got one week of august and then we're at school which is like i don't know summer's been going by it's going by slow because it's only june um but summer i'm summer is going by pretty fast like i know it's gonna go by fast i know i like as soon as august hits it's gonna and august i'm also going to the new school like i said my district um like built a new school and it's literally like four minutes away from my house so i have to go there and stuff and it's not even like bad because i actually do want to go there a lot of my friends that live by me because there's two high schools that's like in my area that are like 10 minutes apart so i'm zoned to the new high school so i have to go to the new high school but if you're not zoned to the new high school you have to stay at that school and i'm also kind of excited because it's only going to be freshmen and sophomores and i'm going to be a sophomore this year and i'm super excited i'm not even that scared because like i said it's we're going to be on top and then we just grow and stuff so i'm actually kind of excited for school to come but i kind of want summer to slow down a little bit um so yeah so hopefully this summer i'm out more because I, I made friends and stuff and i want to go places especially since i'm older i don't really i go out a lot with my friends sometimes not all the time but i would like to go out more and stuff and spend some time with my friends especially since some of the friends they're not going to the new school. Like, I think like four of my really, really close friends, they're not going to the new school. And I'm sad, cause we used to go to school, we used to talk, but some of my other close friends, they are going to the school. So it's not, it's like kind of 50-50. Um, so yeah, that's how life is going so far. I'm trying to figure out a way to get rid of this like sore throat. I don't even know what happened. I just woke up with it like last, actually no, last night. I couldn't even like sleep for real. I, just, I was on the phone and I was like, I'm gonna set a timer and I'm gonna wake up. So I'm gonna call you later cause I wanna go to sleep cause I was tired. And I woke up and like, um, it was like late. And then I was just up for like forever. I couldn't go back to sleep because I was like, like I had a, my throat was hurting. This happens like every three, four months. Like I don't get sick for real. I just always have like a sore throat and a runny nose, which literally sucks. I don't even know why. And it always like happens like at the worst time. So I need to figure out a way to get rid of it. I'm gonna try to start posting on TikTok more. I am very sorry. I haven't been posting a lot. Let's see when the last time I posted. One eternity later. Been since May 20th. Wow, it's a real long time. So now, hi want to travel more this summer i want to go to bahamas that's like the main spot and i also want to go back to florida i haven't been bro like i'm like oh my gosh i haven't been to florida in like a minute i haven't even been on a flight 
since last year. The last place I've been to was New York for my birthday last year. I think that's the last place I've been to. And New York was really fun. I love New York. I've been to New York like three times. New York is such a beautiful, fun place. Um, wait, is New York the last? Yes, New York is the last place I've been to. So, guys, comment down below if there's any spots y'all are traveling to this summer or y'all want to travel to. I just know my spot is Bahamas. Oh, and also Jamaica. I love Bahamas and Jamaica. I like, I don't know why I don't like trying new stuff because I've been to Bahamas like three times and I've been to Jamaica like three times too. But those spots are just like my favorite spots, like, ever. Like, they're so fun. And I think it's also through the food. Like, the food is, like, so good. Oh, my gosh, the food and the drinks, like, the strawberry daiquiris, they're, like, amazing. But, yeah, that's really it. I don't know what else to talk about. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram, I painted. I'm on Snap, I painted 63. Follow my TikTok, Rise Secret Twin. And bye, guys. Peace.